Hey Kevin here, Mr. DIY Dork from DIYDork.com. Today I'm going to take you on a magical tour of the DIY Dork barn house. Uh, it's been about a year since we moved in and we've got most of the things wrapped up. There's still a few projects left to do, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you some of the rooms that are finished and kind of give you a before and an after of what we've done with them. So check this out. Right, now I want to show you the downstairs bathroom and when we first got the place we called it the murder bathroom because it truly looked like someone got murdered in this thing. It had old pine flooring in there that was waterlogged and covered in uh, like dryer lint and bleach stains and just all kinds of stuff and then just the dirt in front of the uh, uh, the sink and then like uh it had these curtains in there that weighed probably 40 pounds i don't know if it was just loaded with poop particles or what but they were the dirtiest heaviest curtains i've ever seen even above the mirror it had curtains and they had like a cheesy sticker on there it said to clean your hands because mom said so and the tub was disgusting and it leaked and uh, it was stained and it was just a real mess so anyway here is an after and as you can see we have really brightened it up whitened it up and added a couple of cool little features and accessories to uh, make it a little more interesting to look at when you're in here getting cleaned up or whatever so uh, let's see where should we start first thing first we got rid of all the flooring uh, if you've seen some other videos I've used it for projects uh, like those tables uh, the target transformation tables I use them so we did VCT tile in here again in a gray um, just to keep it real simple and then uh, the ceiling we did a uh, simpler version of board and batten because it was kind of an odd shape and uh, I think if I remember right the ceiling before was actually tapered and then it come down so we actually made it more uh, well whatever you'd call this shape here and we trimmed it out and then uh, I added some 4x4 four four posts um, because we're eventually I haven't done it yet but I made a thing here so that we can add a track and we can have some doors to kind of close off the uh, um, washer and dryer but we uh, added the shelving there for all our, you know, cleaning supplies and extras and all that kind of stuff um, right here. Oh, also, we uh, we changed the light up here to kind of like a, an outdoor nautical barn light. And then the mirror here, we got rid of the big, giant, ugly mirror. And we added more outdoor um, kind of barn light looking things. Let's see if I can get a better, there you go, better view of them. This round mirror we got from Target and we painted it purple. I added a little stainless shelf just for things like that. Um, got like a little donut toothbrush holder. Got a really tiny uh, sink here. This um, faucet was an eBay find and that thing works really great. That was worth, I think paid 75 bucks and it was worth every penny. It works really nice. Um, just kept that all simple. Uh, bought these uh, concrete uh, towel holders off of Etsy. They're pretty cool. Very simple and I like them a lot. Totally rewired it so that um, we could have a fan in here. And then also added two outlets so that you can, you know, do shaving or hair drying or whatever. And then uh, there's the fan. We added that. Again, a new window. This one's tempered glass because it's so close to the tub. We had to do that. We got a low flow toilet. Um, this is pretty cool little find. I don't remember where we got it, but the toilet paper holder kind of looks like an Instagram camera. And then uh, a fun little trash can there. Um, over here, we just added a towel rack, a very simple one from Ikea, a little simple rack. And then a huge transformation here, I added a new, um, we had to do like an L-shaped um, shower curtain rod. And we actually had to add two shower curtains. And then the shower curtain itself, um, I think it was from Target. And then here's a huge difference here. I tiled it with a white subway tiles and then black grout. And then we added a, a line here of black, white, and gray um, marble which is pretty expensive. Uh, just that line of marble costs just as much as the rest of the tile here. So if you ever do marble, be aware it's kind of pricey. Um, just uh, we added a little shelf there for shampoo and stuff. And then we cleaned out the tub, made it nice, bright and white. And we added new um, stainless, uh, you know, faucet and drain, all that just to make it a little better. And it's pretty much it. Just, you know, trimmed everything. Oh, painted the doors. I probably should have mentioned that. The rest of the house we painted, they were brown. We painted them all really deep gray, added new stainless hardware. And uh, let's have it all trimmed out. So this is another huge transformation, totally different. Doesn't look like anyone got murdered in here anymore. And uh, uh, a good place to poop. 